Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use best free speech-to-text AI to prescribe 2024. And this is to prescribe landing page right now. And this is how it should look like. You input a document and it will transcribe it for you. Pretty straightforward and basically that's it. Right now, it has a free trial, which is actually $10 per month or $20 if you build it manually. Those are the pricing for this option of the AI. And right now, I'm going to try it for free. Click on this button right here. So welcome back on the video. Right now, this is what it looks inside of Transcribe or Tubescribe. So just choose a file. Pretty straightforward. You can also drop your files right here. But for me, I'm going to transcribe my file by choosing it. So you can choose MP3, MP4, and so much more. Now, I'm going to browse a file here. I have already set up a file that I can use. So I'm gonna, na I've named it sample file. Basically it's a three to five second recording. And with this one, you have an option. You can choose English, Dutch, French, and so much more. I'm gonna choose English right here. Also, you're gonna have transcription mode. You can choose fast, balanced, or whale, or most accurate. But this is powered by ChatGPT. Also, these are more settings. You can recognize speakers transcribe to English or restore audio using AI. For example, you have a very bad audio. If your mic is not that good or your input volume or your input device is not that good, please choose this option right here. Now, once you're satisfied with everything, click on transcribe. And I'll see you once it's finished. So welcome back to the video. That took roughly 20 seconds. Guys, I only have an 8 second duration. So let's try listening to right now. Let's click the file right there. Now this is going to be the exact transcription. So this is a sample file to transcribe and to prescribe. One, two, three. Now I want you to listen to it and tell me if it got it correctly. I'm just going to enable my input. This is a sample file to transcribe and to prescribe. One, two, three. Pretty awesome, right? It got it perfectly to the point, and that is actually a very good thing knowing that this is a free trial as of now. Now, that being said, once you're here, you can export it as this files right here. You have an advanced export, but for now, I think the best part on this option right here is the docs document or the word document. But before you export, of course, let's explore some more settings. You can show the timestamps on this option, translate it more to other languages. You can import this transcript to ChatGPT and work your way around there. You can rename the file or edit transcript. Now, if you click on edit transcript, you can choose the exact part in which you can edit. For example, I want to edit the one, two, three. I can just hover my mouse, click on edit and change everything here. However, if I click on the specific part of the transcription, I can play the file. Let me just enable my audio capture one more time. Pick a specific part here. Please listen to it. This is a sample file to transcribe and to prescribe. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Another information you want to know regarding this um, transcribe or to prescribe is that if you click on the specific feature, for example, this freeze right here is on two second and this freeze right here is on six second. And that being said, if you click on that one, you'll notice that the bar right here moves also. Other way, if you reject this one or move it all the way down, you'll see in the top part is also moving. So you can um, scan your transcription with this very smoothly. Also, another thing to take note of is if you click on the settings icon, you can change the speed to normal. They have slower, by the way, in 4x. I think 4x is as fast as. By the way, guys, before we move on with another example, let's move on with pricing because this is a pretty important part that I want to show you. So I'm going to click on new tab right there, go to the pricing, and I'll see you once in there. Now, this would be the Dover Scrape pricing. Currently, this is the yearly and this is monthly. For monthly, you're going to have this one for free, wherein you can have three files daily or transcribe three files for free every day. And they can be 30 minute uploads each three. So a total of 90 minutes 
each day is a pretty awesome deal. However, it's gonna be a lower priority. You need to wait longer before you can transcribe because this is still powered by AI. If you want a limited and faster higher priority, of course, pay the one or pay $20 monthly subscription. But if you go to yearly, you can save about 50% if you only pay $10 per month. So those are the things to take note of. And I want to go back on the landing page from earlier. Just want to show you something very important also. Again, guys, this is the landing page of the prescribe. Same thing, you can pay $10 per month or $20 per monthly. And also just want to highlight that for the free account, you're going to have three transcription per day. Refreshes every 24 hours and each of them can be 30 minutes long. Pretty awesome, right? I only click on this part right here because that's the only part I want to listen to. Now, for example, we're good here. I can just simply click on done editing and I can now proceed as it is. I can share my transcript to my friends. Of course, I also have an option to delete the file. Now, for some reason, I want to click on download docs right there with no problem at all. I have opened Microsoft Word. So this is how it looks like inside. I can edit thing. I can edit everything here. Pretty awesome, right? Well, let me just remove that. And now I'm now good here. For example, I want to organize now my library inside Tobrescribe. I want to go on recent files right here. And then this is currently the list of everything you have transcribed. So I only have one though. Anyway, I can click on new folder, name this one as a sample, create folder right there. Now my sample folder is currently empty. However, I can transcribe some more files here, or I can just go back on my recent files, click on three dots, I can open transcript, export, rename, show, of course, I have the move option, and there is my folder. So that folder right now has a file inside it. And basically, that's it. Pretty straightforward, if you ask me, just drop in some files, let it transcribe for you, choose a setting, and you're good to go. So that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.